Good day students, I'm teacher Alvin and I will be your teacher for today's online class. Our subject for today is science. And before we go to our main topic, let's do first our vocabulary. Let's start with our first word, grow, 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 great job. Now, let's spell the word grow, G-R-O-W, grow. Our second word will be the word move, move, move. Let's also spell the word move. M O V E. Move. Great job. Let's move on to our third vocabulary, which is bacteria. 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 Let's spell the word bacteria. B A C T E R I A Bacteria Very good Now, let's read again our three vocabulary words Starting with our first word Grow 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 Next to that will be the word Move 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 and our third and last word will be the word bacteria 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 very good you did a great job now let's tackle our topic for today's lesson our topic will be living things again living things can you still remember what is a living things? Now, let's define what is a living things. Living things refers to things that are now or once were alive. For you to understand more about living things, I will show you the different kinds of living things. Our first kind of living things are your plants. Next on the list is the animals. We also have people. And even a bacteria is a living thing. Again, we have your plants. Next, we have your animals. Third, we have people and even a bacteria. Now that we're done in kinds of living things, let's identify their characteristics. The first characteristics of a living things is they can grow. The next characteristics of a living things is they need food, air, and water. Next characteristics of a living things is they can make new living things. Our last characteristics of a living things is can only apply to animals and people. Because animals and people can move on their own and can move one place to another while plants cannot move on their own and that is living things now let's review plants are living things just like a rose banana tree coconut tree and other more next is animals animals is also a living things just like your dog, your cat, and even your fish. They are living things. 
Lastly, we have people. They are also a living things. For example, the students and even the teachers are living things. Let's also tackle the opposite of living things, which is the non-living things. But what is non-living things? Non-living things is anything that was never alive. The example of non-living things are your eraser, your pencil, your bag, table, and even your crayons. Because non-living things don't need water, food, and air. Non-living things cannot move also on their own. Another characteristic of a non-living things is they cannot make new non-living things. Non-living things cannot move on their own and they don't have the ability to grow. Now, you're ready to answer your activity. And don't forget to write your activities in your notebook. This is our first activity. Name six living things. Again, name six living things things just like our example our example is dog then fill a b c d e and f after answering your activity please don't forget to take a photo and send it to our line group thank you for watching hope you learned something new today always remember Wear your mask regularly and wash your hands often. This is Teacher Alvin and see you soon. Bye-bye!